Good morning, Debbie Holloway here. Thought I'd share with you a great new shirt I just got. Underestimate, underestimate me? That'll be fun. <laughs> Thought I'd share that with you because I think now more than ever being powerful is things like this. Things that we can do to really step up our game. So what I want to share with you today is something that I wrote. Because let's face it, it it's been a tough year. It has been. Don't see anyone outside of your house for months or up to a year. Don't go outside without a mask. And I'm not saying you should or shouldn't wear a mask. I do, not to protect me, but to protect others. But it's the whole dilemma of wear a mask or don't. The vaccine's available and you can't get one. Either you don't qualify or you just can't get an appointment. We've been defined by what we can't do. That doesn't work, does it? Nobody wants to be defined by what they can't do. Do. I get that. I've seen agents dealing with fear, depression, despair, and the loss of loved ones. And yes, there's been suicides. I had a gal that I know who lost a close realtor friend to suicide. I share these with you simply because I think we can do I think we can do more. I think because you, I, we, we can make the decision to look at what I can do instead of what I can't do. Is your glass half empty or is your glass half full? Let me tell you a story. A young father is in the hospital waiting the arrival of his first child. The doctor comes out and says, okay, there's been a problem and you have to decide. Do we save your wife or your child? I don't know that we can save either, but you've got to pick. So the man says, my wife. They saved his wife and his daughter was born alive. The doctor said her injuries are so bad, she won't live through the night. Yet she did. The doctor said, that's a miracle. There's no way she cannot, her body cannot survive a week. Yet she did. The hospital told the man and his wife, it's not likely she'll ever be able to come home. Yet she did. In and out of the hospital for 10 years, every time they were told, we don't think she can make it, yet she lived. They were told she would never see, but she did. She could see light and shapes. She couldn't see everything, but she could see some things. They were told she would never walk, but she did. She will never be able to go to school. That won't happen. It can't happen. Oh, she did. She graduated from the School for the Blind, Georgetown College, and then did two years at the University of Kentucky. She would have graduated, except two of the professors whose classes she need, needed to graduate refused to teach her because she was blind. She found somebody that would teach her, though. She came home. She got a job. She got married. And when someone tells her she can't, or will never, she says, I don't take that as a no. I don't take somebody telling me I can't as a no. I consider it a challenge to find a way to make it happen. This inspires me every single day to stop myself when I think it can't happen or it won't happen and to find a way to make it happen. Hey, if she could do this, we can pull ourselves up from what is bothering us now, from what's not going right. What is challenging you right now? What is creeping into your psyche and stopping you from moving forward? And what can you do to stop those negative thoughts? I get it. Things happen to us. It's how we choose to handle it that defines us, not what happened. If you're having moments of fear, depression, negative thoughts, reach out to somebody that you know cares about you and is there for you and talk about it. Hey, ladies, we are not in this alone. We are all in this together. A woman reached out to me two days ago. I don't know her. She'd seen me speak and thought I had a kind voice. She was feeling insecure about a listing appointment and felt she wasn't going to get it because the seller had a relative um, who was married to a realtor. I understand that these things happen. What I learned, though, is that it wasn't that listing appointment. She was at a, a stage in her life where she simply didn't believe she was good at what she was doing. She wasn't sure if she should stay in the business. And we talked for a long time about not only what to say to that seller, 
but how being in the business she's in is about helping people. All of us are in some type of business where we're helping someone. The thing we have to know is not everybody needs our help. Most people don't even know they need our help. Our job is to find people, be kind, and help them when we can. You know, I don't know if she'll get the listing. We talked about scripts and dialogues and her mindset. And her mindset was completely different when we were done. Completely different. You have it in you to reach out if you need an ear to listen. You have it in you to be there for someone who needs you. I hear some of you saying, yeah, I don't have it in me to help someone else. I'm already overwhelmed myself. If you, if it is you that needs help, text a friend or a woman in this group and say, I need to talk to somebody. Don't keep it in, let it out and let us help. That's what this group is for. This group isn't to find an agent or to sell a product. This group is for women helping women. Don't keep it in, let us help. And I challenge you to do two things. One, send this post to women that you care about or to someone you think maybe needs a hand up. Share this post. And secondly, reach out to one person today, one person that you know, and inspire them. And, and don't keep that feeling inside of you. It's not a bad thing to feel down. I do, and when I do, I've got my go-to gals that help me get my head on straight. I've got one friend I adore, and when I get the simple text from her that just says, hi, I feel like she needs me and I reach out. The bottom line is, I challenge you. One of the things I know is that when we do something for someone else, we're fulfilled. And ladies, soon we will be together again. We'll be in person, we'll be hugging, we'll be laughing, we'll be cheering each other on. If you have a group of women that need inspiration, private message me. Let's get together. Let's do a Zoom meeting and share our stories. Let's laugh. Let's challenge each other. Remember, can't isn't a no. It's a challenge. Accept the challenge with me. Go make it a great day.